Hi, I'm Tony with Hillview Wood and Metal, um, and I made this walking stick. I'm trying the best I can not to do my own version of the kid with the lightsaber video, but I won't. Uh, the guy that wanted me to make this wanted it to be collapsible. I machined two ends on it, and then put a thread in the middle, a bolt, uh, much like a pool cue, so it comes apart. Like so. There's a rubber foot on the bottom. The end cap at the top was monogrammed with his initial, and that comes apart. That's threaded also. And inside is a spike that I machined that can replace the tip of this in case he has to deal with ice or whatnot. The uh, grip is made from leather cord, which I wrapped and bound, and uh, here's my build video. Thank you. Okay, so the cedars a lot more rotten than I thought it was going to be, so I have to go with something else. Fortunately, I don't keep a lot of big turning stock type wood. I have this Padauk. This is really, really nice. I would love to make the walking stick out of this, but I just feel it's too heavy. It's just going to become tiresome. Uh, I just recently had a guy give me this piece of mahogany. Uh, Frank Snyder is his name from Adirondack Rustic Rose. Super nice guy. Uh, I need inch and a half diameter, and it's three inches, so it's it's not going to work that way, but I figured if I take and I do it on the angle, this is inch and a half diameter, I can do two across here if I split it this way carefully on the bandsaw. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got to drill a hole for a jam chuck in the end of these dowels, essentially, that I made for the walking stick for a threaded insert so this thing can collapse down. Um, unfortunately, the spindle bore in my lathe is not big enough to accept the diameter of the dowel, so I'm going to have to improvise. <laughs> 